Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing an idea which you guys um, requested which was actually on the previous video of this um, sort of series I guess which is the tidy locked um, videos last time we did Mercury but a lot of you guys in the comment section of that wanted me to do all of the planets at once so that is what we're going to be um, doing today but before we begin guys I'd just like to put a warning out there as um i noticed this when I, I only noticed this about 10 minutes ago um before i started filming but after i went into the new version of the game um which was the um experimental build um i came back to this version which is currently um if we go here um yeah here we go so we're in update 24.1.2 again but one thing i noticed when i came back to this version the game has deleted all of my custom objects look if we go here uh, if i just get rid of the search my custom objects are empty, and I've checked the folder. There is absolutely nothing in there. My simulations as well. This is all that's left. I restored the top three. So, yeah, the uh, solar system ones. I restored those um, just now. Um, these two were already here from before um, with the thumbnail and all that. But, yeah, it has wiped all of my simulations. It has wiped all of my custom objects. Some of those are lost forever, um, which is a real shame. Um, I probably could recover some from some workshop simulations and stuff. But, yeah, I have lost... A lot of rare objects, um, things like that. So that is a real, real, real shame. But I'm, I'm very glad I do have my simulations backed up. I just sadly didn't have... I only have really, really old objects backed up. I don't have the objects I... Like, all of the new objects from, like, the last year or so. I don't have those backed up. But, yeah, luckily I'd had the simulations. So I still have all the custom... Like, custom Neptune, for instance. Um, custom um, Jupiter as well. Uh, luckily I've got all those saved. But, yeah, just a reminder. Just a warning. If anyone wants to go to that version, make sure you back up your simulations and um, custom objects here. Otherwise you could lose them like I have. Because I know for a fact I've not deleted them. I think the game has done something when updating and then um, coming back to this version. So, yeah, be very, very careful if you're updating. Because I think it's when I went back to this version. Because the objects were there when I was in the experimental build so something has happened when I've downgraded back to this the current version again so yeah please keep that in mind for anyone who is um, going to check out that um, build but yeah with that all out of the way now we are back in the custom solar system luckily it is saved I'm very um, happy with that because if I'd lost this I would have been quite annoyed but yeah luckily this is saved in one shape or another it's not the complete version there are a few things missing um, but luckily I've got all of the objects, which is the main thing. But yeah, we are going to be tightly locking all of the planets at once, as by your request. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So yeah, without further ado, we're just going to go straight in here. We've um, Obviously, we did all of the, some of these in previous episodes, but you guys wanted me to do all of them. And a lot of people did like the comment um, of it. So yeah, we're going to be doing that um, right today. Actually, Earth, we will spawn a new Earth in for that. But yeah, look, the custom objects are all gone. Why? That's such a shame. But um, yeah, guys, we'll just put the Earth at uh, 1AU. So there we go. So that's pretty much in the right spot. We'll delete the one that doesn't work. Um, but yeah, there we go. So now we've got the proper Earth of all of its um, correct um, stats there. So there we go. We've got Earth and then Mars. I guess we can throw in Ceres. Why not? So let's throw in Ceres. That was the one I was quite curious about. Maybe maybe we'll get some heat out of that. Um, then Jupiter. Um, there we go. And then Saturn, Uranus, uh, Neptune, um, and then Pluto. I guess we can um, we could try the ones further out, but I'm not expecting much. Like We'll, we'll try Orcus, for instance. That looks quite funny at the moment. Maybe it's just due to the textures. I mean, stuff like Sedna, I mean, we can click it. Nothing's going to happen because they're so far away, they don't get sunlight anyway. So that won't um, really help. But yeah, there we go. So they are all tidy locked now. So yeah, without further ado, I guess we can um, watch the um, chaos unfold. But one thing I do want to check is I think the series albedo may be a bit broken. So I just want to make sure series is all up um, in working order. So let me just go to the... Okay, so where are we? So 0 0.01. What does series... Uh, so zero series is meant to have 0.00. .00. So there we go. Let's just turn that down. I'm not. I know. I'm not sure if that's right. I think it's actually meant to be 0.1. Actually, no, yeah. Never mind. I, I remember I changed it because I believe that this one was slightly wrong. So yeah, there we go. Okay, never mind. So yeah, there we go. We've got series tidy lock. So right now, so this is the one. This is the main main interest to me since it's the new one. So will it will it go any hotter? Because Mars got quite hot. Remember, if you remember, Mars went up into the multi hundreds. Will series do it? That is the question. But yeah, there we go. So let's click play. And then we'll slowly start to watch as everything unfolds. So while um, while we are running, obviously we can start to see the hotspot is starting to appear. And some people actually explained Mercury from last time about why it didn't have much change. And that is because Mercury is very close to being tidally locked already, um, is what um, a lot of people were saying. Um, so that's why Mercury's results were slightly um, different to like Venus and all that. It didn't get too hot. Is because not only does it... Um, 
already absorbent like reflecting all that light there's not really too much change and it has no atmosphere to keep the heat in but it's already quite tidy locking it doesn't really do too much for mercury anyway since it it already orbits the sun very very fast and yeah it, that's um seemed to be a lot what a lot of people are saying so a massive thank you to everyone who um corrected um, me on that um that's um, much appreciated um but yeah there we go so there is mercury but yeah um that should all so we go back to the appearance so that's all starting so now we can simply just go ahead and do this so that's mercury then we hop to Venus, same process, so we can get all of the planets up at once. So we've got Earth, this is quite cool actually, I've never done it um, like this, uh, that's, now we're on Mars. Um, and then Ceres, we'll hop to Ceres, I'm really interested to see how Ceres is in. So how, so Ceres is already in minus, oh so Ceres is warming up, okay, wow, I'm really interested to see how that will do. Um, so yeah, there we go, then we've got Jupiter, obviously not expecting too much on the um, gas giants out here. Um, Uranus, and then we've got Neptune. Oh, here. I'm so glad I didn't lose this subject. Damn. Right, um, then we've got Pluto. Did I, did I tiny lock Pluto? Let's just quickly check. Uh, tiny lock. I, I'm not sure if I clicked it. There we go. So, tiny lock, and then we'll get the um, temperature up for you. So, where are we? Surface. Um, add that there. And then we did Eris as well. So, Eris. And then we had Sedna and Planet 9. And then we had Orcus as well. Uh, we might as well throw that in there. Uh, and then we have Planet 9. But, yeah, obviously not much is going to change with those guys. But, yeah, there we go. So, now we can start to watch... As all the planets um, change here, so this should be really cool. So yeah, but Ceres is my main interest. So I'm going to leave it um, Ceres showing. So right now it's at minus 50. But let's um, let's get things um, really going now. So it's really warm this up. How hot will Ceres go? We can already see Mars. Mars is already into the positive temperatures. So yeah, there we go there. Venus, I'm oh that's Earth, sorry. Venus already in the 1000s. Mercury is already sitting comfortably at what it was last episode. So around the 360, I think it peaked at there. We can also see Earth and Venus because they've got atmospheres. It's taken a little longer for them to um, work out. But yeah, we can see Venus is absolutely skyrocketing in temperature here. Obviously, here we go. If we look underneath that surface, I'm pretty sure we're already going to see some molten rock appearing. Yeah, there you can already see it's already burning up. Venus is very, very hot. Um, right there mars as well quite weird i'm not sure if um i'm not sure why it's doing that we can't seem to get it to replicate what it did before it's very strange with mars let's just check its i want to check its albedo just to make sure it's all working correctly so 0 0.25 is that what mars normally has so let's just quickly um check that so actually, i'll spawn the regular mars in there as well just uh, just as a comparison um, so yeah, we've got, so it's a slightly different orbit, but yeah, we'll put it there anyway so what, what does mars suppose so 0 0.25 this one has 0 0.25 yeah so it looks all right Okay, so the atmosphere is different. Okay, so that could be why the custom Mars is a little broken. So let's put the atmosphere mass up to one Mars. So not Earth, we want one Mars. Just to, just to fix... Oh, no, it already is one Mars. Okay. So it, it, it is one Mars. So uh, surface pressure. How's the surface pressure compared to the... So one Mars, and then 7.1, and this is... Oh, so, okay, so, so that's slightly different. So what is this in ATM? So it's 0 0.00637. So if I just um, put... So ATM... 0 0.00637 like that so there we go but that changes the surf or the atmosphere masses uh, yeah it's a little uh, a little funny mars but yeah we'll, we'll leave both of them in there so yeah there we go but yeah there we are so those guys can all orbit oh yeah mars mars is a funny one uh, no, no. It is quite funny. How's Ceres doing? So Ceres is warm. Wow, look at Ceres go. So so Ceres is going around to minus 35, and then it goes to... Oh, so Ceres has had a massive bonus, because originally it was around minus 110, I think it started at. If we just check... Um, if we just spawn a new Ceres in, just to see what it is supposed to be. So if we just put, go, just put it there, that's fine. So this is what Ceres is supposed to look like. So where are we here? So surface, yep, and then we want to go to... The, okay, so Ceres... Uh, okay, never mind. It seems like it's... Yeah, okay, so that, that doesn't work. But yeah, there we go. So, yeah, series though, very surprising um, with how well that's doing. So let's just place it in there. We'll just we'll just let that run for a little bit. So how 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 much does that normal series go to? So let's just try and uh, click on it again. So yeah, where are we here? So is this the original or is this the new one? So this is the original one. So we can see, yeah, the hottest point is about right now. It's about yeah. So we'll just let that run for a bit. So we can see here, we'll let that get to what it will finally level out at because that will eventually. I'm, I'm assuming it went to about 100 minus 110. I think that was what it originally started. So around that. So we can see, yeah, um, yeah, minus a 110. So it's around that area we can sort of see that Ceres originally was. Obviously, it's a little closer to the sun, so it's also going to be slightly different. But yeah, Ceres, Ceres has had a very... Look at that, minus 41. So that's sort of in Mars territory. But the regular Mars, I mean, that's usually what regular Mars would normally be around. So how's, so this is the regular Mars right now. Oh, no, okay, so this one is in the my uh, is in 160 so we can see the regular mars yet yeah, the this version of mars is broken 100 percent that is broken so yeah this is the mars we sort of want to go off here so we can sort of see yeah mars is in the hundreds right now 
So yeah, pretty um, pretty um, surprising um, for Mars, honestly. Very, very nice job for Mars to be getting up there into the 160s. I mean, if we compare that to Mercury, so if we just pause it. So yeah, if we go to like the hotter areas of Mercury, so somewhere in, like the yellow area of Mercury, that's sort of where Mars is sitting at right now in temperatures. So we can see Mars has got some pretty pretty hot temperature going on. I did I did clearly lock it, didn't I? Because it's still pretty hot. There we, there we go. So how's that doing? Yeah, it's just the... Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so now Mars is warming up a little more. Okay. So, yes, it seemed like the, the the custom version of Mars had... Oh, so Mars is now really... Yeah, I'm not sure that's entirely right. I think the game may be having a, having a little fibbing around here because that doesn't seem right for Mars, I have to say. That that does seem a little extreme for what Mars' stats normally are. I mean, yeah, a 1,000 degrees. Earth doesn't even have a 1,000. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure that's right, I have to say. But yeah, there we go. So that, there's the Earth. So that's, um, yeah, 300. So if we just pop to Earth quickly, we, we'll see straight away that obviously this side, we can see the water's evaporating. This side, completely frozen. So yeah, it's really cool the way the tidy locking works with planets of water like that. So there's Earth. Also, if we scroll down, so obviously Mercury's sitting comfortably at the 300s. Venus is still going up. So it's in 2,700 now. So that is absolutely insane. Earth is sitting around 324. Tidy locked. There is Ceres at minus 40. Mars, we're not even going to include because Mars seems to be completely broken. But if you want to see the accurate um, stuff for that, go ahead and check out the um, actual dedicated video to Mars. Because that's where we actually got it, um, I believe, to what it should be. But yeah, there we go there. Um, so Jupiter, yeah, obviously not much results from Jupiter. I'll see Jupiter, Saturn. It's going to get colder and colder. So we've got Jupiter, minus 105. Saturn's at minus 162, roughly, right now. Uranus, minus 193. And then Neptune is at a very cold 214. But if we're continuing, we've got Pluto at 225. Iris is at two, yeah, and then we can see the other ones are just completely freezing cold. I mean, oh, we've got, um, Orcus at 220 there, so there we go. And obviously Planet 9, it doesn't get any sunlight anyway. Like like said in there, Planet 9, they're going to be completely freezing up anyway because they don't have sunlight to warm them up. So even being tidy locked, it's still not getting any sunlight really, so they're not really too much change there. But yeah, with the other objects, we can sort of see the massive, the, just by distance, we can also see Jupiter, that right now. Minus 105, so we can see then the Jupiter leaps out to Saturn, much bigger distance, and then Saturn's already at, so there's a six about a 60 degree difference between Jupiter and Saturn. Then we have got Saturn and Uranus, we've got about 32 degrees, it seems to be some 160 to 192, and then Uranus to Neptune, also as we're getting further out, there's less and less energy from the sun, so the result or the, the um, numbers are slightly closer together, so we've got minus 192 to minus 214 there, and then also Pluto further out gets even colder and colder, so you can sort of see the, the gradual progression of um, being further away from the sun being tidy locked. But yeah, there we go. So we can still sort of see that some of them are not fully complete with a tidy locking yet. We can see Ceres and Jupiter look complete. Saturn still looks like there's a little too much blue. It should be a little darker, I think. But yeah, there we go. So that's roughly the sort of results we're getting so far. We'll let it play a little more. Yeah, but Mars, I have to say, very, very strange. Oh, what happened to Mercury? Why is Mercury... Did Mercury hit something? Why is Mercury at 13... That is... What was going on here? Did we run it too far and the game can't handle it? And what, what, what is this? Minor, yeah, that doesn't seem entirely right. I, I think I think we, it had a collision with something. That's very... What, what collided with it? Maybe one of the asteroid belt objects like flew out or something. That's very strange. We can see we're running it very, very quickly here. So obviously, when you start to run stuff at this sort of uh, level... It can get a little um, crazy, as we can see. We can sort of see Mercury's going to sort of reset to what it was, though, um, right there. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, Mercury, there we go. So, it's roughly, yeah, Mercury's reset to what it was, as we can see. We are running, and it hit something else again. What? Very, very interesting. I don't know why it's doing that. We are clearly running it too fast. But, yeah, we've, we've run it properly now for quite a while. But, yeah, very strange that Mercury's having, having strange collisions with things. We'll let it cool down again there. But, yeah, so there we go. So, our final results are, so Venus is in the 3,000s now. I mean, yeah, so there, there's Mercury fixed. So, yeah, here's Venus. So, how, how are you doing? So, I'm guessing if we, it's not, yeah, it's not looking too good at Venus. I mean, that tidy locking with that atmosphere pressure. The amount of atmosphere pressure Venus has, that is absolutely crazy how hot it is. I mean, that atmosphere, that is trapping in a crazy, crazy amount of heat, but... Now it's tidy locked, and we've ran it for quite a while now. The other side of Venus is actually very cold. We're in the minus 200s here. We can sort of see it goes from ultra hot to yeah, straight into the minus, like into the minuses straight away. Like so, completely burning, and then this side absolutely freezing. It's just the way tidy locking works. Even with the atmosphere pressure, if it's still facing the sun all the time, it seems like it just 
all the heat eventually just spreads around to one side of the planet, um, which is pretty crazy there. So there we go, got that massive atmosphere mass there, massive surface pressure that just gives Venus the massive edge over the other planets. So there we've got Venus, then heading to Earth, we can see we're at 380. Obviously Mars, we've completely thrown out the equation because Mars seems to be very, very broken right now. And yeah, I'm not sure, 1400, I'm not buying it. I don't think that's right. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we've got Ceres. Ceres was interesting at minus 41. I mean, that's 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 sort of touching Mars territory, like regular sort of Mars territory around that minus 40 area there. So pretty interesting results there. So then we've got Saturn, obviously all the other planets I've already shown you though. So yeah, there we go. But I think to end off, we are going to try it. We are. I, I do want to quickly try Mars in the regular solar system. So nothing in his modded, completely fresh system. I want to try Mars. I just want to. See, I just want to check. So there we go. So tightly lock. Um, so there we go. And then um, yeah, there we go. And then and Earth as well. Because I think I think Earth and Mars may have been a little funny in that one. So I just want to check those guys. So here we go. So Earth's tightly locked. And then yeah, there we go. So we'll get we'll just get that up here as well. Just to just to double check since we though we didn't really focus on those two. So there we go. So we have got Earth and Mars. I want to see sort of see how they go. Okay. So yeah, yeah, Mars. I'm 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 not buying it. I'm I'm not entirely actually I'm not entirely sure that temperature's right. I think and, and actually maybe maybe it is. Maybe Earth is the one it's wrong because also we had Venus in the three thousands. Then it skipped to Earth at a much cooler 400, but then Mars wanted to go to 1,300 um, as well. I'm guessing maybe Earth is the one that's broken, not Mars. I think maybe Mars could be correct. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you, do you think um, I'm talking a load of... Um, a load of rubbish here, or do, or do you agree with me? Like, do you think? Do, you, do you, I think Earth or Mars is broken? I have to say, because it sort of ruins the pattern. We had Mercury, which was pretty warm. We had Venus, which was skyrocketing. Then we had Earth, at a lot, a, a very cool 400. But then Mars suddenly sprung back up to 1,300. Although Mars has a weaker atmosphere, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. I mean, if we can just compare stats as well before we finish up, so. Um, yeah, I'm still not, still not used to these. It's a surface, that's what we want. So if we check here. So Mars reflects 0.25, so 25% of light. Earth reflects 31%, so it only reflects a little more. But obviously, with that much bigger atmosphere, so atmosphere mass is not even like correct there, but if we just check this. So what, yeah, that's that's the even the Earth in the regular solar system seems a little broken. But yeah, if we compare that to Mars, Mars is nowhere near one Earth or one ATM anywhere, but it's still giving much higher results. I, I'm thinking Earth is broken. I have to say it Earth has been a little funny in the update 24 of the surface grids and stuff anyway. So I'm thinking my theory is Earth is a little broken. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments as well. But yeah, there we go, guys. That does it for what if all the planets are tightly locked by your request? So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this um, video for everyone who um, wanted to see it. And yeah, that is everything. So if you've got any more ideas for things I could try in Universe Sandbox 2, let me know what you think down below um, in the comments as well, guys. And uh, I'm, I'm always reading those comments um, as well. So let me know what you think um, down below in the comments if you've um, got any theories about this or anything I'd missed or anything I did wrong. Or let me know what you think about the Earth and Mars situation as well. But yeah, like I said, if you've got any more ideas, let me know um, down below um, in the comments as well if you want me to um, feature it in a video um, at some point. But yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, a massive thank you for to watching today's video. And make sure to subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 13,000 subscribers now, guys. That is absolutely insane. A massive thank you again for coming back to every video. It means the world. And yeah, yeah, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes for today's video as well, guys. And yeah, with that all out of the way, um, that is everything. So make sure you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.